Yo, what's going on, my amigos and amigas? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, man, today's Valentine's Day. I'm recording this February 14th. Uh, that's just what I do. Gamers like me, we we work. We don't celebrate. We don't go out and party. We just work and game for 22 hours straight till we go to bed. But anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I am here to talk about is an article that I found. It's fresh out of the oven. It's juicy. It's thick, much like the woman in the video. I've spent over 100,000 pounds making my bum, you know, the booty. Your booty's heavy like that diarrhea if you get that bar shout out to you shout out to you anyways i spent over 100,000 pounds making my bum bigger men are too scared to date me now i wonder why i wonder why maybe because i don't want to be crushed maybe because i don't want to die and drown myself in plastic maybe that's <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why people don't want to go out with you. Here's something that I see all the time like people getting surgeries This goes for men and women like they get surgeries because they think they're ugly. They're not good enough I want more tits. Give me a little bit more ass. Make my penis a bit bigger I just thought of something and I'm like, holy shit There's no surgery to make your penis bigger. So, you know, where's equality? Natasha crown a model who wants to have the world's biggest bum has shared how she's been struggling to find love as her body and personality are too extreme for some men. Count me in because you are way too much for me. A model who has spent $150,000 on her bum in an attempt to achieve the world's biggest has opened up about how difficult it can be to date. Has undergone six procedures so far with her first surgery taking place when she was just 20. A Brazilian butt lift and this is how she looks. $150,000 on this. I could have the same effect if I go to the store, I go to Walmart and for $20 I just put a pillow in my pants and walk around like that. And it might be even softer for twenty dollars, and you wasted a hundred and fifty thousand to look like a fucking baby with diapers who just shit its pants and who's been collecting shit for like the past week and a half. That is legit diaper butt. That is legit a baby butt diaper thing and whatever the fuck you want to call it. This looks horrible. Like I'm sorry. And am I saying that I have the best ass? No, I'm not saying that. But at the same time, I'm not going on fucking live TV or taking pictures of it. Or say, hey guys, I wasted $150,000, look at my butt because I want to have the world's biggest butt. You know when you reach that point in life when that's your goal? If you feel pathetic right now, let this sink in. Let this sink in. Maybe you're not doing that well at school. Maybe your job is shitty. Maybe you hate your job. Maybe your daughter is being uh, annoying. Maybe your son. Maybe your brother is being annoying. Your sister, whatever. Your life could be worse. And how could it be worse? Imagine throwing away 150 k for this. This is disgusting. This is absolutely unattractive. I mean, it's not for me, and I will never date someone like this. I'm sure there's some fucking loser out there who's like, yeah, that's how I like my women <laughs> with diaper butts. <laughs> I'm not into a diaper butt. She claims this is because she believes the bigger the booty, the better. Well, this is clearly cap. But despite loving her appearance, I mean, pause right here. Don't do surgeries. Don't get lip surgery or nose job or tits or ass for other people to please other people, to please your crush, to impress your loved one or this, this, and that. Do it for yourself. If you think getting a nose job is good for you, fuck what everyone else thinks. Who the fuck cares if people say it's the biggest or the smallest or fix this or fix that? If you like it, Keep it. And if you have the money and you have the possibility to fix it for yourself, not for anyone else, but for yourself, then go ahead with it. As long as you want it and you're mentally stable. <laughs> but despite loving her appearance, she admits that her extreme body is making it tricky for her to find a relationship as men are often too scared of her and can't handle her curves. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I can't deal with this. This is like way too fucking <laughs> I'm scared of her. Just imagine having sex with her and she fucking crushes you. Just imagine she fucking destroys your dick. No, thank you. She continues, my last relationship was seven years ago. I am pretty extreme, so I think people are afraid of me. Yeah, no shit. It's scary for men. I'm scared. I'm scared. You have a personality and then you have my body and then you have everything else on top of that. It's extreme. Now let's take a look at how she is. You have my personality and then you have my, my body and then you have everything on top of that. You know, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's extreme. Gorgeous. I'm ready. I'm going to have world's biggest bomb. That's my goal. This looks like a Resident Evil. Like, this could legit be from Resident Evil 4 or 5. Like, I respect the confidence. Yeah, I mean, the personality department. Like, there's nothing charming about you. Like, yeah, I am very confident. And I'm just looking for a man to please me all night long. To slap that ass. When I was 20 years old, I did my first surgery. Look, she doesn't look bad. In all seriousness, she's not bad looking. She doesn't look ugly here. She wasn't ugly. What the fuck happened? How do you do this to yourself? When I was 20 years old, I did my first surgery and it was a reveal. Brazilian butt lift. I did my last Brazilian butt 
lived one month ago, and that was my fifth. And soon I'm going to have my sixth. Like you obviously can't go back time to stop, but you could stop it from getting worse. She was actually hot. It's kind of sad when you think about it. Don't see how beautiful they are. Of course, if you watch the Sensitive Society channel, you're instantly hotter than the person who isn't subscribed to Sensitive Society. So all of my fans, all of you, my amigos and amigas, all 10 people who watch my videos, you guys are hot as fuck. That's just how it be. That's what happens when you watch Sensitive Society. And around $150,000 on my surgery. Maybe more class because if I go too sexy, he will be like intimidated, like too much. like. Um, no, I no, I am not scared. <sighs> well, I am scared of getting eaten alive. Good, of course, but he doesn't need to have like abs, abs. People who have abs, they're like, there's so much ego in them. So I don't have time for that, you know? Ooh, sassy girl. Well, guys, um, I don't have any abs, so, you know, I could definitely score. I could definitely score. <laughs> and uh, take her on a very caliente date. I guess. A mattress has to be either soft or firm. It can't be both. What the fuck? What is this? Oof. Yes, it can. Shut the fuck up. This is definitely one of the most unique things I've seen in a hot mini. Um, all right, guys. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go cry in the corner on Valentine's Day.